In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the pass time event to take a date time represented as text like this and convert this into a variable of type date time. To do this, I'm going to start by creating an endpoint called pass time. Next, I'm going to give the endpoint a path, call it v1 pass time. And then I'll save this endpoint down like so. Next, I'm going to create a new action and call this action pass time. I am then going to link my action to my pass time endpoint like so. Next, I'm going to create a variable which is going to be a dummy date time text string. So I'm going to label this variable dummy date time and give it the same name. I am then going to set its starting value to 2022, 10.05 at 11.30 and 22 seconds, like so. Next, I'm going to create a second text variable, which is going to be used to tell my pass time event what is the format of my date time value. I am going to label this variable time layout and give it the same name. I am then going to give it the expression 2006-02-01 150405. Now we use this date and time in order to specify the time layout since this is the required format that is built into this particular function. You can see here with reference to the date and time of Monday, January the 2nd, 150405, 2006. You can see that we've made a reference to this over here in our docs under the format time event. Next, I'm going to add the past time event from within the time event section here. And I'm going to set the description to pass the date time string to a date time variable format. I'm going to set the variable to my dummy date time text variable. And the layout of this dummy date time text variable is my second text variable, which I've called time layout. Then for the variable that this event returns, I'm going to say this is going to be called date time and this is going to be a variable of type date time. Finally, I'm going to save the configuration of this event and then in my trigger component, I am going to set the response variable to date time, which is my variable of type date time. Last up, we are going to build the code and test it. So to test, I'm going to return to my pass time endpoint and run it. You can see then here under the response variable that the text based dummy date time has now been converted into an actual date time variable. So it all looks good. And that's how you set up the pass time event inside of Bitify.